All right, we're gonna dive in. So let's see, there's, uh, there's probably a couple of buttons on here. You can tweak it and uh, you can put uh, speaker view or gallery view or that kind of stuff. You'll figure it out. Um, so hey, so thanks for being here. Uh, my name is Jonathan Zabraki and I'm a realtor just like you guys. Uh, I'm going to mute everybody here, but uh, if you got any questions or whatnot, if stuff pops up, like definitely unmute yourself because um, I want to answer all the questions you guys got. So I'm a realtor just like you guys, first and foremost. I'm not a professional speaker. I'm not a motivator. I'm not like your typical real estate coach or trainer. Uh, I just... Uh, uh, feel an obligation to let other people know uh, basically what I'm doing and if they want to copy what I'm doing uh, fantastic and um, for me my 14-year uh, journey in real estate has been pretty good right uh, no lie like my first year uh, I did a little over 10 million in sales which is really good my second year 14 million in sales but uh, my wife was like, you got to either find a different job or you got to find a different way to do real estate because I was working way too many hours, um, probably in that 90 to 100 hours a week. And uh, so basically between that second and third year, I uh, hired a few uh, business coaches, 100% not into any real estate because, you know, I've hired all the names that you guys probably know of. And they just pretty much told me, like, work harder, work longer, work more, sell more, build a team, all this kind of stuff, right? And um, that just wasn't working for me. So between that second and third year, I invested a little over 80000 um, And I really created a complete signature system that works. If you have a pen, I would jot this down. Uh, it is a complete proven signature system it's a cpss and this complete signature system allowed me that third year to do um 27.2 million in sales but more important than that it allowed me to work about 55 hours a week which for me was like amazing compared to uh what i was doing in the past uh so it's a c P S S it's complete proven signature system and I use that to this day to tell people uh, when I'm working with a buyer seller and they go what makes you different well I have a C P S S I have a complete proven signature system in fact as soon as we get done with this call uh, I got to go out I just listed a 1.1 million dollar property so I got to go do a couple things for them. Uh, so I still practice real estate to, the, to this day. None of this stuff is theory. None of it is like uh, I'm practicing on somebody. It's like all things that I have done and that I currently do. And really what this is about, and I would jot this down, uh, it's really about three things. It's number one, uh, helping you get to a better price point. A price point that is generally three to four times higher than what your price point is that you're currently dealing with. Number two, it's working with clients that are more of a premium client. So to me, a premium client, premium buyer seller is a price point, but it's also motivation, right? I'm sure you've dealt with some buyers, sellers. I've dealt with a lot of buyers and sellers. I've now sold a little over 381 million in residential real estate that are interested, but they're not committed to buying or selling a home. And now I only work with people that are obsessed. So if somebody's interested in buying, if they're committed to buying, I go, hey, I'm not the right realtor for you. If someone is obsessed with like, we are going to sell our house, or we are gonna buy a house, we're either gonna upsize or downsize, there's no questions about it, perfect. Then I can help them out. And that's one of the secrets that allows me to help buyers buy a home within three to 10 days 
of me interacting with them. And it could be a realtor.com lead, Zillow lead, truly a lead, open house lead, does not matter. When you put this complete proven signature system into place, you're going to attract an obsessed buyer seller. You're gonna repel somebody that's interested. Does that make sense? Somebody that wants to take nine months to buy a home, Lord almighty, I don't got time for them, right? That'd be like, how long does it take them to decide if they want to get Starbucks coffee or not? Like Starbucks is like, do you want it now or not, right? It's, it's kind of business 101. But as, as realtors, sometimes we think like, hey, we should start working with first time home buyers or we should uh, work with people that want to buy nine months from now. Well, to me, my life changed when I said no to those things. Um, and this uh, hour that you invest here is going to be very different. And it's going to be different. And really who it's geared for is, well, one, you got to be a residential realtor full time. If you do real estate part time, you can just hop off right now. Right. I, I can't help anybody who does anything part time. Uh, number two is you got to be committed slash obsessed with having a better lifestyle. If you're interested in having a better lifestyle, I can't help you. Like pop off right now. Right. But if you're committed to having a better lifestyle, if you're even better than that, obsessed with having a better lifestyle, then uh, this is definitely for you. Um, Okay, so uh, at the end of the call too, I'm gonna give out some stuff that's gonna be like crazy beneficial for you. Uh, so definitely stick around for that. Um, gosh, how am I different from others? Well, first off, I sell real estate. So if you've ever taken advice from somebody who is not doing that thing that you want to do, stop. And I'll say it one more time. If you've ever taken advice from somebody who is not doing that thing that you want, stop. Meaning, if I wanted to lose 30 pounds of weight, I would not take weight advice from somebody who weighs 100 pounds overweight. Does that make sense? That would be incongruent, that'd be silly. So like if you've ever taken advice from a, a branch manager, a broker, a real estate coach or trainer that sold real estate 20 years ago or never has, like stop. <laughs> Does that make sense? Because the advice you're gonna get is kind of worthless advice. Would you guys agree? It just doesn't make sense. Um, okay, uh, I told you a little bit how I came up with my complete proven signature system. I came up with it because I had to. My wife gave me the ultimatum either find a different job or uh, do this. So what I wanna start with is, is results in advance. And what I mean by that is, and this is interactive, so like um, definitely unmute yourselves, this chart right here. And so grab a piece of paper, uh, have your paper be in nine different segments, and you're gonna draw nine boxes. Um, and uh, on the one box uh, at the top, you'll see it, it's a question mark. It's before and it's after. And then on the sides, you're gonna to wanna to write these three questions in these boxes. By you doing this exercise, this, if you really choose to internalize this, this is probably going to add an additional million dollars of commissions to you in the next three years. That's pretty good. Uh, and this is about a 10 minute exercise. So uh, are you guys interested, committed, or obsessed to doing this exercise with me? If it's gonna net you a million dollars of additional GCI in the next three years. All right, so we got the questions on there. What do they have? We got the questions on there. What are they feeling? And we got the question on there. What's their average day like? 
Oh, and I should say too, I'm a little bummed because it is, I live in uh, Southern California, San Diego. It is gorgeous outside and I should have done this outside. Maybe I should take my laptop and just head out there, but uh, uh, I'm feeling a little cooped up in my office. Uh, but okay, so before, so before a buyer buys a home or before a seller sells a home, what do they have? And that's what goes in this box here. So what, what do they have? Either put it in the chat box or unmute yourself. What, what, what does a buyer have before they are living in their dream home? Or what does a seller have before they're selling their home they don't want to sell? What, what do they have? This is interactive, so. What do they have? Motivation to sell or buy. Okay, yeah. Um, what are they feeling in this box here? So that buyer who's not living in their dream home yet, or that seller that has this crappy house and they want a better house, or the seller that has this big house I call it a McMansion, and they're ready to simplify and downsize. Like, what are they feeling? Stress, get out of their situation, yeah. So what do you imagine their average day like? This buyer that wants to buy, or the seller that wants to sell, before they actually do it, what's their average day like? And I'm telling you, when we, when we truly get this, it like unlocks the key for everything in our real estate career. If we don't get this, we're just gonna remain stuck like I was my first two years, right? I was doing 14 million in sales, but I was stuck. So for me, somebody's average day is they're probably on the internet, they're probably searching for homes, they're a little frustrated, maybe they're uh, bickering a little bit with their spouse, maybe one of them wants to move more than the other, Maybe they're uh, in this house, it's too tiny, and they're like, hey, we need a bigger yard for the kids, or we need more bedrooms for the kids, um, all that type of stuff, right? Or if I'm living in a McMansion home, and it's time for me to sell my home that's got seven bathrooms, because my four kids have moved out, uh, I go, hey, this is crazy, we're cleaning seven bathrooms. Let's just simplify to a house that's got, let's say, three bathrooms, you know what I mean? Um, so before I would say the amount of stress that people have is very, very high. And when they begin the process of buying and selling a home, stress increases. So this is my business card. Uh, I give out stress balls. So when I interact with buyers and sellers, I say that buying and selling a home is the third biggest stressor. You have death of a spouse you have divorce, you have buying and selling a home. When I say that, do you think these people are connecting with me or am I repelling them? Not a rhetorical question. So when, when I initially meet with someone or talk with them over the phone and I go, hey, I get it, you're stressed. Does that build instant rapport or are they like, you have no idea who we are? It's instant rapport. Does that make sense? So like the traditional realtor is going to answer a lead call with all kinds of cockamamie stuff. Like uh, this has got these many bedrooms and bathrooms and this and that, blah, blah, blah. 
I answer the call with basically like, oh my gosh, I'm glad you called off this house. It's awesome. You've got to be a little stressed, aren't you? And hey, that's okay because buying and selling a home is the third biggest stressor. You have death of a spouse, divorce, and buying and selling a home. My, and my spouse hasn't died. I'm not divorced. So I don't even know how those would feel. But I have bought and sold personally seven homes. And each time I did, it was a little stressful. Oh my gosh, this is instant rapport building. Does that make sense? That, that little nugget right there of how to interact with a lead differently um, is going to attract a premium client. It is going to repel people that are interested. It is going to repel people that are committed. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because again, I only want to attract and work with somebody that wants to buy a home generally in 10 days or less. If somebody wants to buy a home and have it take longer than 10 days, it's like I'm not the right person for them. Because I tell them, like, it doesn't take me 10 days to decide if I want to have lunch or not. It doesn't take me 10 days to decide if I want to have a Starbucks coffee or not right? And uh, we attract basically more people in our life of who we are. So if we have a hard time making decisions, if we have a hard time being committed, we're going to attract that kind of person into our life. Okay, so those are the things that we know before. What happens after? So what do they have once they've bought that dream house? Or once they've sold that house they don't want anymore, what do they have? Again, you can either unmute yourself, type something in the chat box. Well, this is 100% interactive. Because I'm, I'm not about giving people information, I'm about helping realtors transformation. Does that make sense? You, 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 most realtors do not need more information. If, if all we needed was information, anybody with an internet connection would be worth a bazillion dollars. Does that make sense? So what we need, we really need three things. We need one, a complete proven system. Number two, we need help to put that system into place. And number three, we need accountability to actually follow through on our commitments. Does that make sense? It's exactly uh, what I do. Okay, so what do they have? They basically have uh, like it, what they want. I've, I've never helped somebody buy a home and they go, ah, crap, we bought a home. <laughs> I've never helped somebody sell a home and they're like, ah, oh, crap, I should have never sold it, right? But again, I don't work with people that don't have money, so I don't work with short sales or foreclosures or any of that gibberish. Um, you know, who would, right? Would Starbucks work with somebody and sell coffee if they didn't have money to pay for it? No. So business 101 is like only work with buyers and sellers that have money. Um, what are they feeling after they've actually gone through and done exactly what they want to do? They either own this new home that they just love or they sold this home and are now moving up or moving down. What are they feeling? feeling happiness, either unmute yourself uh, and tell me what they're feeling uh, or type it in the box or I guess drop off the call, <laughs> all right? If, if you don't want to participate, I, I can't help you. Uh, what are they feeling after they've done this? What are they feeling? Yeah, they feel contentment. They feel good, right? Um, and now, what's their average day like? 
Are, are they spending two hours a day on realtor.com still searching for their dream home? Nope. Um, are they fretting and worrying about what they should do? Nope. So what is the value of doing this? And really, really figuring out what is it that we help people with? Because I really don't help people buy and sell homes. I help them go from this before to this after. Does that make sense? I help them with their problem, with their goal. I help them get out of indecision and into decision. And isn't that like why we got into the real estate business in the first place? Like I got into the real estate business in the first place, number one, to help people. Number two, to make a lot of money. What I quickly learned is that real estate can kind of eat you up and you can help people, you can make a lot of money, but you can also be working way too much, right? So that's why I created this complete proven signature system, and it's very ELF. ELF to me is easy, lucrative, and fun. And so I'm bringing the fun back into being a realtor again. And to me, fun is... Uh, Gosh, I should show you guys my calendar. I guess I could, that'd be pretty simple. But here's, here's my calendar over here. And on my calendar, I'm sure you guys have a wall chart like that too. Uh, on that wall chart, I got basically a vacation uh, every 30 days. If you don't have a vacation every 30 days on your wall chart for 2017, then you need my complete proven signature system. You need my help and you need my accountability. Because every realtor in America, I believe, should be making $300,000 a year of income and they should be having a vacation a minimum of once of every 30 days. And a vacation that like gets you crazy charged up. So not like, you know, a half a day where I turn my cell phone off, but like in August, I'm going on a 14-day backpacking trip to Peru. And I'm doing that with my wife and our four kids, uh, coming up in about a week and a half, going to Disney World for a week with our two youngest kids. Uh, so anyway, how do we get there? Well, we get there really by three things. And... Uh, let's see. So now that we know what we do to help people, we just got to go find those people. And so you'll want to draw a triangle. And on the triangle, on one side, you're going to put attract, convert on another side, and then deliver. Attract, convert, and deliver. That's it. That's what I do day in and day out as a residential realtor. Um, that's what you should be doing day in and day out. Attract what and attract who? Well, I want to attract people that don't like where they're at and want to get to where they want to go to, right? To me, that's called a premium client. A premium client to me has a, about five characteristics. I'm just going to give you two of them. One is they know what they want. Two, is they're willing to get that thing within 30 days. Number one is they know what they want. Two, is they're willing to get that thing within 30 days or less. So I've used Starbucks already a few times. It's like they don't really sell anything. People come to them. Does that make sense? People know what they want, overpriced coffee, and they're willing to get it within 30 days. Usually somebody gets their coffee like instantaneously. I've never been in Starbucks where somebody comes in and says, hey, I'm thinking of getting coffee, but I'm gonna buy it eight days from now. But I just wanted to kind of check out the menu, right? Like that, that, uh, that would be a bad buyer and a bad seller. Uh, attract, there's 11 different ways to attract leads that I go into like massive detail uh, in the complete proven signature system. 
I'll read them off to you. I got them jotted down. It's my, this is my fancy PowerPoint. Uh, if you're looking for a complicated way to make an additional 300,000 of income, I'm not the right person for you. If you're looking for simplicity, um, I got that pretty much uh, covered. I'll show you my CRM. This is my CRM currently. What, once it gets full of people, there's still some white pages, but then I'll go buy another one of these CRMs. And that's how I keep track of stuff. Uh, okay, so the 11 great ways to attract premium clients with my signature system, number one, open houses. Number two, ultimate 200. These are people that already know you, like you, trust you. And you gotta call them once a month, you gotta send them a letter once a month, you gotta send them a video once a month. You never talk about, hey, I wanna sell your house, or hey, call me when you wanna buy or sell. Never, ever talk about that stuff. Number three is you wanna do an Elite 25 get together once a month. Number four, print advertising. So for instance, I have a very unique brochure. This is an example of a house I sold here last year, but it's a 12 page brochure. Very, very different from like a traditional realtor. Uh, does it cost me more money? Yeah, I think this brochure probably cost me two, three dollars a piece. Uh, is it better than a traditional real estate brochure, which is one piece of paper? Yeah, and this brochure I put outside the front of the house. So this is what Joe Q Public picks up when they you know, go to the for sale sign. Um, I'm okay spending more money because I'm selling homes that are three to four times what my industry averages around my neighborhood. Does that make sense? So when I was doing real estate in Minnesota, I guess I could have sold the one, two, three hundred thousand dollar homes, but it was just I made more money. And I worked less when I sold the $900,000 homes. And people ask me all the time, they're like, well, how, how'd you do that? And I'm like, well, I just woke up one day and I kind of, this clicked in my brain. Um, I'm a play hard kind of person and I want to work hard, but I don't want to work a hundred hours a week. So when I work, I really, really work. When I play, I turn my cell phone off and I am disconnected and I go play and enjoy life. Um, and it's really, well, gosh, I guess I should, I was gonna say this till later, but there's three things I focus on, but the biggest thing right here is you or your mindset. I think there's a lot of people that talk about this there's just not a lot of people that say this is it. Like your mindset is probably, I don't want to say 100% of your success or failure, but I'll say 100% minus 1%. So I'll say 99%. 99% of where anybody is in life is because they choose to be there. 99% of why anybody is where they're at in life is because they choose to be there. So we just had the Super Bowl. We just had the Patriots down by a whole bunch of points going into the third quarter. Uh, they won because they have a pretty good mindset, right? And they were down by 20 plus points. They weren't freaking out. The coaches weren't yelling at the players. The players were not yelling at each other. It's like, we got this thing. We've been playing pretty poorly, but come on, we're better than this. We got this thing. Um, for a residential realtor, mindset is just as important. If you think you're not worthy enough to sell a $700,000 home, you are correct. You're not worthy enough. If you think you are worthy enough to sell a $700,000 home, do you know what? You're also correct. You are worthy enough. So you, you've got to have the mindset, you've got to have the commitment or determination or obsession before you put this stuff into practice. Does that make sense? I can give you all the dialogues in the world, like even this simple one, like, hey, here's my business card. 
And buying and selling a home is the third biggest stressor in somebody's life. So I get that you're stressed. You're not going to say that to somebody unless you feel worthy enough saying that to somebody. Does that make sense? Uh, okay, so back to attract. Um, attract. So we got open house, ultimate 200, elite 25. This is where once a month I'm doing an event and I'm inviting people to come to it. Pretty simple. Does that make sense? So like the Super Bowl was just, I don't know what, two, three days ago. Uh, I'm assuming all of us in residential real estate had a Super Bowl party at our house. If not, you'd have to scratch your head and go like, well, we're in the business of building relationships with people. Why wouldn't we be having parties with people once a week? So I tend to have a party with people at least once a month. And, um, you know, in the early days when I didn't have a lot of money, it was come on over to my house for a barbecue. And my house at the time when I started in real estate was not that pretty looking. People didn't care. Um, now it's I'm kind of to the point where it's like, hey, I just rented a house in Hawaii. It's got eight bedrooms. Do you want to come on, hang out with me for the week? Right. Uh, but other things that um, I have done and other realtors that I coach do are like rent out a bowling alley, go feed the ducks at Lake Poway, go fishing, uh, simple, simple stuff. But we, we got to go interact with people. Does that make sense? I, I've never had it where somebody has met me and they jump in my car and they go, oh my gosh, I want to go buy a home. Like we have to go attract those people into our world. Um, okay, I went over print. Um, gosh, there's seven different letters that I send out to a listing when I do list their house. Goes out to anywhere from 50 to 200 neighbors. So this is how I work less and make more. So when I get a listing, uh, I mean, I'll repeat that again. I send out seven letters to neighbors uh, and the letters are, you know, at different phases. They're coming soon, just listed. This is when the open house is. This went pending. I called a gap. So I throw a going away party for people. Then I get it closed. And then I throw a housewarming party for people. Why? Because we're in the people business, right? If, if we're not a people person, we should probably turn our real estate license in, right? If we have a hard time smiling, we should probably turn our real estate license in because do people like to deal with people that are like happy or sad? You know, so like, I don't know. I mean, that, that's one there. If, if you want to add an additional 300,000 of income, smile more. That's it. Just smile more. Does that make sense? It's, it's so simple, uh, but it goes back to that 99% of our life is not controlled by the president, by our parents, by our broker, by the economy. It's controlled by us. We just got to start taking different action steps. Um, uh, let's see, online leads, I love like realtor.com. That is by far my number one um, source that I like. I personally spend about $1,800 a month on realtor.com leads. Uh, maybe you got to start at $100 a month, whatever it is, start at something. Um, I send out postcards. So if you have money, send out the postcard. I send this postcard out, it's changed now, it's a little old one, but I send this out to about 10,000 people a month, cost me $3,600 a month, and I generate a little over 60,000, some months about 70, 75,000 a month in uh, GCI from that postcard. Uh, you know, some realtors are like, that's a lot of money. And I go, yeah, it's, we live in America where there's a phrase that says, it, it costs money to make money, right? So if you don't want to invest in yourself, nobody else is. Does that make sense? If, if, if you're going to try and get a buyer or seller to pay you a 
let's just call it a 6% commission. So it's a $400,000 house and you want them to pay you 24,000 because that's how the seller thinks of it. They don't care if you get this amount and they get this amount and the broker gets this. Bottom line, seller's just like, hey, if I sell my $400,000 home, I'm gonna pay you 24,000. You better be investing in yourself, right? To get better skills, to get a higher quality mindset, to have a complete proven signature system. Otherwise, it's tough. It's tough out there. Um, okay, number six, two thank you cards a day. This is something that costs you zero. Well, I don't wanna say zero, it costs you a dollar a day uh, for because he's gonna have to pay for stamps. And the thank you cards, I'm sending those out to my ultimate 200. These are people that I've, I'm calling, I'm calling 200 people a month, and that is free, right? F-R-E-E, -E. so that's a option. Um, Tuesday, Friday update calls. Oh, this is hilarious. So this is number seven. Uh, I got this $1.1 million listing and uh, I, they were like, oh, you know, we, we uh, appreciate you and we're having you, uh, you made the finalists or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. I'm like, so what, what caused you to like have me back as a finalist? And they're like, well, two things. One, is you told us you're gonna call us back every Tuesday and Friday. I was like, wow. In my brain, I'm thinking like, doesn't every realtor make the promise of calling their current clients every Tuesday and Friday by noon and giving them updates on what's going on? Because uh, to me, it's just like basic standard 101. Uh, and then the second thing they said is uh, they loved my three promises. And I'll give you my three promises. Uh, and when I, um, when I, when I, uh, well, even when I do open houses, when I do open houses, when I, anytime I, I'm hanging out with humans, I bring my like ten thousand dollars cash with me, and I tell them that hey, there's I have a three three three, and I won't get in the other parts of the three because we don't have time for it. But my three 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 is this: one of the components are my three promises. So I promise to always be on time, and if not, I owe you $100. Number two is I promise to be brutally honest with you. If you think I ever tainted the truth in any way, I owe you $100. And number three, I'm gonna do what I say I'm gonna do. So if I say the for sale sign is gonna be installed Thursday by two o'clock, and it's 2.01, and it's not installed yet, I owe you $100. And she had said uh, that that was it. And you know, I, I'm a I'm a small person in my market. I only sell I don't know 20 million give or take in the market where I'm at. I've only been here for four years. Nobody really knows me from Adam in the big scheme of things. So I'm always competing against you know the queen bee. And uh, but I get a good majority of the listings I go on because my initial consultation is so different and so unique. I'm not telling them how great I am. I'm not telling them um, uh, all the awards I've won. I'm not telling them, hey, I've sold all this millions in real estate. I'm not number one uh, firm. Uh, no, none of that. And um, all right, getting back to a track. So attract, uh, Tuesday, Friday update calls. Lender, so if you don't have a lender that's sending you a million dollars of business a month, uh, let's change that, because uh, they are out there. Even if you're in the smallest market in Iowa, there's lenders out there that are doing a million dollars of business a month. We gotta go find that person for you and have them start sending you business. Number nine is builders. So really working with a quality builder, having them send you 500,000 of business a month, and then 10 and 11 is for every listing you have, for sure do a going away party and a housewarming party for that new people moving in, and for every buyer that you help, for sure do a housewarming party. So those are the ways that I attract really cool premium clients. 
I'm looking on the attract side for 16 leads a month. That's it. I'm looking for 16 leads a month. That's it. And I do not do a lot of follow-up. So I don't have drip campaigns. I don't have email sequences. I don't do any of that hogwash stuff. I just don't have time for it. Um, and I tell that to people. And usually they're pretty excited about it, right? Because like, I don't know. Does anybody here love it when they go like, hey, can we set you up on a drip campaign? It, most of us are not like, yeah, that's the best thing ever. I'd love to be dripped on. Um, and then convert. So uh, convert is really two things. One, out of those 16 leads, I want to have a minimum of eight initial consultations. And we don't have time on this call to go over the initial consultation, but suffice to say, it's very different in a positive way. It's uh, very little about me. It is very other focused. Um, and then the second part of convert is two. Uh, so I'm really only looking for two clients a month. And the reason I'm only looking for two clients a month is because, again, I got to go on a vacation once a month, right? I, I, I got stuff to do in this lifetime. Like, I don't, I don't wake up going like, I can't wait to burn myself out in real estate. That's not what I'm interested in. Um, I want to have a very good personal life. I want a very good business life. And I want a phenomenal financial life, right? It's, it's like this. I want to make a difference, but I also want to make a fortune. I don't want to make a difference and make no money. Um, so what I do is I go, okay, cool. So those two people a month, what kind of price point need to, they do, excuse me, do they need to be? For me, it's a minimum of $25,000 commission check. So if it's somebody who wants to buy or sell and it doesn't total up to $25,000, I'm not the right realtor for them, right? And some people say, well, can't you help us? And I say, well, yeah, I mean, I could, but I just don't specialize at that price point. Well, but could you help us? Well, yeah, I mean, of course I could. Like every doctor could work 24 hours a day. Uh, every, uh, you know, doctor could perform every surgery under the moon, but they, there's called specialists. Does that make sense? So a radiologist looks at x-rays. A certain other type of doctor will do knees. A certain other doctor is going to do ears and noses, right? It's, it's like specialize. Uh, and you don't have to be a realtor with experience to specialize. It goes back to that mindset. You can just choose right now today. All right, here's the line in the sand. I'm going to specialize now at XYZ. Perfect. Um, and then deliver. So for me, I want to deliver a great experience. I tell buyers and sellers it's a VIP experience. And one of the ways I'm going to know it's a VIP experience is that, hey, you, Mr. And Mrs. Buyer, you guys are going to introduce me to two people you really care about before we close on this home that we're selling or before we close on this home that you're buying. If I deliver a really good experience for you, would you be willing to do that? And uh, if they say yes, uh, I accept them as a client. If they say no, I basically shake their hand and go, hey, I'm not a good fit for you then. But hey, have a great day. Because they're just looking to basically use and abuse me, right? And just help me have them sell their home and that's it. And I'm like, I'm just not interested in that, right? It goes back to I'm interested in building relationships with people, right? I, I'm, I'm going to call you every single month, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, until you die or I die. What are we going to talk about? Whatever you want to talk about. 
We'll talk about the Anaheim Ducks. We'll talk about the San Diego Padres. We'll talk about quilting or knitting. If you're into that, we'll talk about your kids, whatever you want to talk about. But I, I want to be a friend. And if, if you're not looking for a friend, I, life's too short. Like, I'm not, like, there's 21,603 traditional realtors out there that will gladly sell your house for you. I'm interested in selling your house, but I'm interested in really building a cool relationship as well. And what I mean by that is like once a month, I have people over to my house for a barbecue. I'd love to have you over to the house. Generally, once a quarter, we're going on a big boat trip. I'd love to have you come on the boat trip with us. Generally, once a quarter, we go to the local winery and we hang out for a couple hours. You know, generally, once a quarter, we're doing something where either we're going to SeaWorld for the day, we're going to Legoland for the day, or Disneyland for the day, or we're going to the local trampoline park, you know, where you jump up and down for two hours. I pay for all that stuff. Does that make sense? I, I just, I like people. That's why I got into real estate. So it kind of goes back to like, man, this stuff should be really easy for the right person to do. It goes back to mindset. And if we don't like people, then we got to go like, okay, what's the problem? And the problem might be we've been working with some icky buyers and icky sellers. And so my advice is great. Stop working with those people. Stop working with buyers that don't know if they want to buy or sell. Stop working with sellers that want to overprice their house. Stop working with somebody who doesn't have money or bad credit. Just stop. There's so many people in your market and in your area that want your help, that need your help, and that would massively value you helping them go from, you know, they're stuck here and they want to go here. Um, so, oh my gosh, if, if you uh, have liked this, if you thought this has been helpful so far, you, you're going to love uh, what's coming up in March. So March 2nd, 3rd, and 4th here in San Diego, I'm looking at my calendar, uh, is, um, is an event that I do. And this event, it's uh, Profits and Passions Ignite. And the whole premise of it is how to get this implemented for you once and for all. It's a three-day event. It's limited to 30 new realtors uh, at a time. Uh, many times, maybe 10 or 20 of my current uh, Freedom Club members will attend. These are my coaching clients that I coach and train throughout America. Um, but it's limited to 30 new realtors to attend. Uh, what do we do? What do we cover? We go over exactly how to go from zero to 381 million in sales in 14 years or less. If that would be helpful for you, then you should attend. Uh, we spend about an hour uh, going over each of the 11 different ways to attract leads. We go over the exact dialogues to use. We go over the exact mindsets to have. Um, in fact, one of the things when you sign up for it, you get this. This is my guide to your success. And it's 100 plus pages. In here is exact dialogues as well, like what to do, what to say, how to say it. Um, I show you the exact brochures I use. I show you the exact postcards I use. Um, it is 100% interactive. So if you're looking for information, it probably isn't a good fit for you. But if you're okay being in a group of 30 people in a room, 40 people in a room, and we're role playing, and we're actually implementing this stuff, then this is for you, right? Um, gosh, what else about it? Um, well, it comes with my guarantee because I know it works. 
because uh, I'm a realtor and it's my system. So it's, it's uh, you attend the three day event. Um, if you don't see by the end of the third day, how you can add an additional 300,000 of gross commission income to you within 12 months, you just simply let me know at the end of the third day and I refund you 100% of what you paid in tuition to attend. So kind of a no brainer. Again, by the end of that third day, you're gonna have a very clear picture of how you can add 300,000 or more of gross commission income within the next 12 months. If at the end of that third day, you're like, I don't get it, I don't see it happening for me, I don't understand it, I don't want it, whatever it is, great. Here's your $3,000 back that you paid to attend and keep all the materials and we part as friends. And so it's 3,000 to attend. Um, I know right now today, if you do sign up, uh, I think my tech guy has it even where it's $1,000 off. I think that's just for today though. Uh, but you go to, um, eh, let me pull up the website, double check. I don't want to tell you something that isn't, uh, isn't true. But if you go to profitsandpassions.com, P-R-O-F-I-T-S and passions.com, if you click on uh, this here, March 2 to 4th live event, and uh, yep, there are six days left to sign up. These sell out. Uh, oh, perfect. Yes, yeah, so if you do it right now, you don't even need to type in the promo code. The promo code is uh, for today uh, is 2017 best year ever. Uh, but it looks like if you sign up right now, it's already discounted a thousand dollars. So instead of 3K to attend the event, it's basically uh, 2K to attend the event. Um, we also hop on and we do uh, bonus calls. So we've already had two live bonus calls for those uh, people who are uh, on. And, I'm Dan McGinnis, oops. real estate agent from Phoenix, Arizona. I'll pause Dan's video there. Um, so yeah, so there's a total of four bonus calls. I'll send you uh, the two that have already occurred. Uh, there'll be another two that'll happen. Uh, on the first bonus call, someone put into action just the open house strategy, and they added about 110, excuse me, about 110,000 of new potential GCI just from that weekend that he put the open house strategy into place. And for open houses, again, I'm really simple, I'm really basic. I usually tell people put up two open house signs. That's it. And I show you how to do open houses on other people's listings. Uh, so you don't even need to have your own listings for that. Um, but we're going to go over all this stuff uh, right here and more. Um, but this is guaranteed to be the best real estate event you've ever attended. You will never need to attend in another real estate event again. Um, and like I say, you're gonna have a very clear picture of how to add 300,000 of gross commission income in the next 12 months. And if you don't see that happening by the end of that third day, you just let me know and I refund you back 100% of that 3,000 that you invested to attend. Or I guess in this case, it looks like the price is 2,000 for today. So, um, so yeah, that's that. I'd love to see you guys there. Um, I guess with that, do you have any questions? Um, ask away. Otherwise, I got to get to that uh, listing uh, that I just listed. So if you got a question, type it in. Um, gosh, I forgot to say too that uh, that first day, March 2nd, uh, that's kind of cool because uh, uh, one of the bonuses I'm doing for people that sign up in the next 24 hours is um, taking them out for drinks and appetizers uh, along with people in the Freedom Club. Uh, so you can pick my brain uh, for as long as you want. Uh, you can communicate with uh, other people in the Freedom Club. 
who are having great success by putting this uh, signature system into place as well. All right, well, cool. Um, I trust you guys uh, got great value from this, uh, that you understand that you don't need hundreds of leads a month. You just need 16. They just need to be of a better caliber. When you have 16 great leads, you really only need 50% of those to turn into business, uh, into, uh, well, I should say, an initial consultation. Um, and uh, really, I'm just looking for two out of the 16 leads to, uh, to actually you know, make it happen. So um, awesome. Have a great day, guys. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, quick, uh, some chat questions. Okay, I'll answer them real quick. Uh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, Dustin. Um, Gulf of Mexico. Want to break into the luxury market? Yeah, simple. Come to the three-day event. Invest, uh, looks like today, invest 2K uh, to make 300K. Um, that's, uh, that's a pretty good, uh, trade-off and guaranteed. Uh, let's see. Um, can't attend the three day event. Um, hmm. Well, I got a phrase. Uh, this is one of my favorite phrases and, uh, lack of commitment costs a whole lot of money. And so, um, hmm there's there's 2.2 million realtors in america the majority of them don't make over fifty thousand a year and we're all committed to something i'm just committed to improving one percent a day there's some people that are committed to struggle right there's some people that are committed to like man i'm broke uh perfect Let's change that. Does that make sense? Because if, if, a, if someone can't afford 2K to come to an event that's guaranteed to give them 300K, they're probably attracting buyers and sellers into their life that aren't good buyers and sellers. Does that make sense? Um, so... Yeah, someone could probably put that on their credit card and probably not even need to quote unquote pay for it <laughs> until like 30, 45 days from now. Uh, so yeah. All right, rock stars. Have a great day. I appreciate you guys.